Susan Collins is trying to bring more attention to Alzheimer's disease, but she has a lot more on her plate besides that. In an interview with News Center's Pat Callahan, she also discusses the latest budget passed by the Senate and why she thinks Republicans should stop trying to repeal the Affordable Care Act, also known as Obamacare. Senator, let me ask you about the, the Hope for Alzheimer's uh, Act. Wh what is the great need for why we need to spend more money on research here? Alzheimer's has become our nation's costliest disease. We're spending an astonishing $226 billion a year as a society caring for people with Alzheimer's. $154 billion comes from the Medicaid and Medicare programs. If the current trajectory of this disease is not changed, it's expected to consume a trillion dollars by the year 2050, not to mention the human suffering that it and currently we're only spending, what, $600 million on research? Is that the figure? $600 million. That pales by comparison to what we're spending on cancer research, which is about $6 billion. HIV AIDS, we spend $3 billion. Cardiovascular disease, about $2 billion. And that, that investment has produced real returns, better treatments, the means of prevention in some cases. And that's the kind of investment that we need to have for Alzheimer's. What's your target for spending uh, roughly and, and what are the chances of passage? The target is to double the amount we're spending this year and over five years to reach $2 billion. That's not a number plucked out of the air. That's what an expert panel has told us we should be uh, spending in order to take advantage of the many research opportunities that are out there. And if you think about that, the $2 billion is less than 1% of what we're spending caring for people with Alzheimer's. In addition, Alzheimer's is the only deadly disease in the top 10 without a means of prevention, effective treatments, or a cure. We really need to step up and increase the investment. And what are the odds of passage? I'm finding that more and more people are interested in trying to boost Alzheimer's spending and they understand that the research is on the cusp of really making some exciting breakthroughs. That's what our, our panel said last week. The head of the Institutes of Aging told us that they're only able to fund about 12% of the worthwhile applications that are being submitted. So there are a lot of opportunities that are being unfulfilled. During the budget, I offered an that set the $2 billion as a goal. Now, this isn't binding language, but it was accepted by the Senate and it was bipartisan. So you have a feeling that there's support for this in the Senate? I do. Finding the money is always difficult, particularly in this day and age. But frankly, if we don't find the money, this is a disease that's going to continue to cause so much heartache for so many families across our nation and it literally is going to bankrupt our health care system.